So in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, subdividing polygons using uh, insert and edge loop. So let's start by our cube here and let's go to our to the mesh tool and insert edge loop. And I'm going to open the options. So by clicking here, you can add edge loop by clicking on one of the edges. So let's come here and select the vertices. Select these two and I'm going to pull these two down like this to get a shape like this. <coughs> All right, now let's come back to our um, object here and let's talk about what is the difference between relative distance from the edge and equal distance. So here, as soon as I, uh, w when I'm in the relative distance from the edge, this happens. When I click here, when I click here, when I'm close to the top part um, my uh, the, the edge loop becomes uh, get this angle here and when I come closer to the bottom it becomes like a, a straight line this is like this but if I have the equal distance from the edge selected no matter where let me go closer no matter where I, I am in the, in the edge, it doesn't change the angle. I always get exactly the same angle as I have here. So with the multiple edge loops, you can add multiple edge loop. Like two, like this. Like this. And um, and if you need your edge loop be exactly at the middle, you can set this to one, and then click here, or click here. It, it and you make sure that your edge loop is exactly at the middle of this edge. Um, by auto complete, let me. Select the relative distance from the edge again. So by autocomplete off, if you turn this off, you can come here and, oh, actually, let me, all right. So by autocomplete off, when you, you, you can click, uh, double click actually, so you have select uh, you, but it's not complete yet. So you can adjust it, and even you should go closer. Okay, so you can adjust it, and if um, and what uh, and as soon as you are happy, then you can click enter. But um, it it helps you where, for example in this situation where, where you select your edge loop here before pressing the enter you can click here for example and then when you go back to your selection as you see this part is deselected so then you can click here click here click here oops, click here and then as soon as you go back here and select this edge you see you can just select a part a part of the the loop not the whole loop and then you can press enter and you get a part of uh, this edge um, edge loop now let's talk about insert with uh, edge flow i select this object to explain that <coughs> So when it's not selected, when I come here and select, uh, let's actually turn on our autocomplete here. Okay, so I can select 
an edge loop like this, okay? But when I have insert with edge flow on, as soon as I click here, I get this flow here, okay? And you can go to your, um, to attribute editor and um, you have this node poly split ring. So as soon as you add your uh, edge loop, you, you get this node here and then you can come here and adjust the edge flow here like this. Okay, and you can even go more like this. So this is pretty much uh, about the, and yes, and, and here for sure you can get by uh, holding down command shift right mouse button, you can get the, uh, the options here. Uh, it is exactly the ones that you can see here. Okay, so in the next video, I am going to talk about subdividing polygons and using offset edge tool, uh, edge loop tool, quadra tool, and and uh, multi call tool. So make sure to uh, uh, to check the related post on my um, website on defocuseye.com and searching for subdividing polygon tool and to get all. Uh, related video to, to this topic uh, in, in one place.